my beautiful people. Welcome back and welcome to the Mardi Gras Parade, the Bling It On Mardi Gras Parade. Um, I am so excited to be part of this amazing group of artists. This is going to be such a fun collaboration and I'm really looking forward to this. So let's go ahead and get started. Um, this is a 15 by 30 inch gallery wrap canvas from Artist Loft. I have taped the back and put my push pins in and I have painted my sides and edges and just a tiny bit around the top with my flow, flow extender color, which is Blacrylic uh, Violet. Yeah, Blacrylic Violet. <laughs> I'm not really crazy about that and I don't really like to use it for anything except a flow extender. Um, to mix up this cup of paint, I used a lot more paint than I normally would have and no matter how much I put in there, I couldn't get it darker than this. Part of that is from the Floetrol, but it's just not very, very highly pigmented. So I prefer working with more highly pigmented paints when I'm pouring rather than something like that that I want to use for a flow extender. But it is great for a flow extender. Uh, the colors we are using tonight are very exciting. Now this one, I have to thank my beautiful friend Gina DeLuca for. Uh, she did a pour this afternoon and I asked her which one of the darker colors she was using and she said that's Mysterious. For those of you who don't know, Mysterious was a color that was available through Art Minds a couple of years ago and it just got discontinued and everybody was very, very sad because it was a really beautiful color. And Gina said, oh, you can make Mysterious. It's some Deco Art Emerald Green and some Deco Art Deep Sapphire mixed together. And I was like, okay. So that's what this is. It's a combination of the Deco Art Emerald Green and the Deep Sapphire. And I started with an emerald green base and then I just added little bits of the deep sapphire at a time until it was the color that I wanted. And this is so beautiful. Just... Uh, I think it getting discontinued actually made it more, made more popular. popular. <laughs> oh wait, I can't have it? I need it. No, no, this is it. It was always a gorgeous, gorgeous color. So that's my version of Mysterious. That's the emerald green and the deep sapphire combined. Thank you very much, Gina DeLuca. I love little tips like that. The next one we're using is Liquitex Quinacridone Blue Violet. This is very pretty. I love this color. Now, <laughs> as opposed to this one, I used probably half an ounce of paint in this <laughs> and got this beautiful deep rich color, which will actually get a little darker versus these, these two cups of Flow Extender. I don't even know how many ounces it was. It was probably two or three or four ounces of paint compared to just that tiny little bit. So the amount of pigment in your paints does make a big difference. Okay, the next one we are using, I wanted to use Pistachio by Arteza, but I was kind of out of it. So this is a combination of Amsterdam Titanium White and Sargent's Acrylic Pearl Pearlescent Mixing Medium, and then just a teeny tiny bit of the Emerald Green, like a tiny, tiny amount. So this is sort of like a mint color, a pistachio sort of mint pistachio, if you will. <laughs> very, very pretty. Um, tonight we are using Liquitex Gloss Medium and Floetrol as our pouring medium. Everything is not very, very, very thick. It's not super thin either. It is leaving a slight mound, but then sinking into itself pretty quickly. Okay, that one actually seems a smidge thick. Okay, this one is... Oh, and I forgot to tell you about that. I'll say you know. This one is also Amsterdam Titanium White and a tiny bit of the Satin Enamels from Deco Art Americana Decor Metallics. And to this, for our bling it factor, I have added some of this Master's Touch Opal Glitter Medium. Quite a big scoop. So you see little bit, bitty things in there. That's actually the glitter medium, which is very, very pretty when it dries too. Okay, so that one has it, and I also put it, I believe, in the Quinacridone Blue Violet, too. And then last but not least, we have our Decor Americana Decor Metallics in 24 karat gold. Our beautiful, blingy friend. Gorgeous stuff. Okay, so game plan. We are going to put down a runway of our gold, and we are going to layer a... 20 ounce cup for a 15 by 30 we need about 16 and a half ounces of paint I'm going to use a 20 ounce cup and I'm not going to go all the way to the tippy tippy top so what do we want to start with I want to start with some of that mysterious color 
And then I'm going to layer it and then I'm going to pour it in a straight pour. And we're going to put some of my mint on top of that. And a little bit of gold. And a little bit of white. And then another little bit of gold. Because I don't really want the blue violet touching the white and turning everything pink. So by using that gold as barrier, we get a good result. Um, I am going to put that mysterious color on the other side of that. And just repeat. Pistachio sort of. Gold. Gold, white, gold, blue, violet. I think we're going to put one layer of the, of the mysterious on top and then we're going to be done. Okay. So there's our very cool looking cup ready to go and we're going to take our gold I'm not going to thin it out because it's already pretty thin and I'm going to pour a runway starting from there and we're going to go across okay so that's our runway that we're going to pour into I'm actually going to tilt that out just a bit because it did kind of put a lot on there which is fine Throw in some black share and you got some uh, Mardi Gras colors. <laughs> okay, we're going to do a straight pour and we're going to go from here all the way across. Are you ready, husband of awesomeness? I share. Laissez la bon pour rouler. The good times roll, baby. Here we go. Very pretty. I love those colors together. Gorgeous, gorgeous stuff. Okay, so we're going to put this flow extender around here now because we don't want this to roll over itself and lose our composition. We want to keep those cool fingerlings. our pour because the function of it is to keep our pour to keep our pour sliding smoothly. Here. I'm going to give that a quick torch. 
This is so pretty in there. I love that. Okay. I wish there was a little bit more of this because that's really gorgeous. But that's okay. We got one more. Okay. Let's tilt this out to see what happens. All right. I'm going to take the weight of the paint down over that corner a little bit. Kind of stretch this out in the process. I love what's happening all over in there and I love this part. Two little problem areas, this corner and that corner. I think I'm just gonna take some mysterious and put that over here. Rather than attempting to recreate this, we're just gonna use some solid color over here. over that corner. We're going to do the same thing over here. Slide that right on over. Okay, I feel like we need to take this down just a little bit so we can turn this around. I love all those fingerlings in there, how it's like soft and flowing and very graceful and beautiful. This is pretty. This is really cool. What do you think, HOA? Yeah. Kind of looking a little flamey, too. <laughs> I'm a hot rod flame. If you're looking for flames, everything looks like flames, darling. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I like this a lot. I think it's really, really pretty. Okay. So that's kind of awesome. I will show you guys this one when it's dry. I will list all of the artists that are going to be appearing in the Bling It, Bling it On Mardi Gras Parade for you guys on the screen and at the end of this video. And I will also put everybody's links in the description box. Please make sure you go check out everybody. They've been working really, really hard to make you some awesome, awesome videos. And I think you're gonna have a lot of fun. We're gonna to torch this one more time and then I'll show you guys when it's dry. There we go. That's awesome. I love it. We'll be right back.
Okay, so this is dry now. And I just took some of my Golden's Pearl Mica Flake, small. You can see the raised texture on the jar. And I used my little paintbrush and just did some little embellishments for some extra bling. I think it looks really cool though. So the next step, we're going to use some Triart liquid glass on this tomorrow and give it some all over shine as well. So that's step two complete with the golden pearl mica flake. liquid glass on here. Super, super shimmery and sparkly and shiny. I'm very excited for when I love this part so much I keep coming back to it. Really pretty. Some golden pearl mica flake. Really cute. You guys will see when we're in the sun. <laughs> I can't wait to show you. Okay, so here we are a few days later <laughs> with our dried result. Uh, this has now been embellished with the Golden's Pearl Mica Flake and it has been varnished with a coat of Triart Liquid Glass and it is super, super shiny and blingy and amazing and I'm loving how this is looking trying to keep my shadow out of it sorry this is really cool let me see if we can get closer this way there we go very very neat stuff happening in here lots of bling I hope you guys can see that bling that pearl mica flake is so cool you can see a little bit up there with that little raised little bumps of gorgeousness that's definitely my favorite part though right there you love that and the pearl mica flake just added so much in terms of sparkle and shimmer and bling bling <laughs> so this is very cool i think it's perfect for our bling it on parade i love this that mysterious color dried beautifully that was the emerald green mixed with the deep sapphire our beautiful liquitex blue violet gorgeous stuff so gold in there, some white in there, lots of beautiful fingerlings. I really like the flow and the movement of this piece. I think it's just very pretty, very shimmery, very soft. But there's some bold colors in there too. I really like this. This turned out awesome. I hope you guys enjoyed this. Thank you so much for hanging out with us and enjoying the process. And I hope you guys check out everybody that came on Saturday and then everybody that was before me on Sunday and we will be back with the rest of the Bling It On Parade on Tuesday on Mardi Gras itself, Fat Tuesday. It's going to be awesome. I will list everybody for you in the description box with their links and I will post it on my community tab also. So please go check it out because there's some really, really cool stuff happening. Thank you guys so much for being here with us. Enjoy your Mardi Gras. We will see you real soon. Have a wonderful day. Bye-bye.